hi guys welcome to the channel today we'll be checking this versus this what it is is one meter of ethernet cable category six and this is 30 meters of ethernet cable category six as well so this one is an ftp shielded twisted four pairs category six cable and this is the cable that came originally with the router this is an asus AX5400 gaming router and we're going to be comparing today if it's going to make a difference of using one meter cable versus 30 meter cable in case you want to put your router somewhere far away or you want to have a computer or laptop connected via the cable but you're wondering if it's worth to use such a long cable and if it's going to affect your speed and latency today we're going to be checking it out so let's get started and if you're new to the channel please take a second to subscribe if you find this video helpful give it a like and if you'll get any comments or questions drop them down in the comment section below all right let's get started first i'm going to be checking this small cable from the router see what speed we're going to get with this cable as you can see it's a pretty short cable okay so i'm going to be using the speed test software from speedtest.net you can download it as well from that website it is pretty accurate so let's go ahead and try out the first one. This is going to be with one meter cable. So we got two millisecond pin time. The download speed is 753 megabit per second. And the upload is 492 megabit per second. Let's go ahead and do it again. Now we got a little bit better pin time, one millisecond. The download speed is 731. Upload speed is 481. Pretty stable. Let's do it again. Okay, so I'm done three runs. Third run is 739 for the download and 509 for the upload. The pin time is one millisecond. Let's just do another test, see if we're gonna get any difference. So yeah, the pin time is one millisecond. The download speed is 740.40 megabit per second and the upload is 462 megabit per second. Do it one more time. This is gonna be the test number five. And we get in the pin time one millisecond. The download speed is 737 megabit per second. And the upload speed is 507 megabit per second. Do the test number six for the one meter cable. The pin time is 1 millisecond. The download speed is 718 megabit per second. And the upload is 511 megabit per second. And let's do the final test. There we go. So we got the 2 millisecond pin time. The download speed is 737 megabit per second. And the upload speed is 508 megabit per second. Let's go ahead and compare it to the 30 meter cable. Okay, so now I have connected a 30 meter cable to exact same port on a router to eliminate any variances between different ports. Even though in this router Asus AX5400, all four ports are one gigabit, but just to eliminate any variances between different ports, in case there are some, I have connected it to exact same port on the router and I only have one ethernet port on the laptop. So we are connected to exact same ports. Let's go ahead and try it out. By the way, if you want to see a full review about this Asus AX5400 gaming router, I'm going to put a link in the description as well as an upper right corner. You can check it out. If you want to get a full in detail review about this router, I'm planning to make it soon. So make sure to subscribe and click the notification bells to know when the new videos are out. But nevertheless, let's continue on. So the pin time is 2 milliseconds, just like before. The download speed is 733. And the upload speed is just shy of 500 megabit per second, exactly 496 megabit per second. Let's go have it do a second run. Two millisecond pin time again. I want to see if we're actually going to be able to get the one millisecond with this 30 meter cable. So the download speed is roughly 750. The upload is roughly 500, which is good, I think. So let's go ahead and do it again. Third run. So yeah, the pin time is only two milliseconds which is only one thousandth of a second. 
and I don't think this is really gonna matter. One millisecond is not gonna do any difference. The download speed is still great. So we're getting 743 for the download and 500 for the upload. Let's go ahead and try it one more time. Yeah, so the pin time is actually a little bit higher, it's like 2.11 milliseconds, but the speed is still over 700 megabit for the download and almost 500 for the upload. Do the fifth test. There we go, so we did get one millisecond. So now I can prove this is not the cable that's making this latency, it's actually the internet connection. It all depends on the variety of different things, on the load on the network and a lot of other things like the way your computer works because it also requires your computer hardware to work and there we go this is the best result we've got so far 750 for the download 516 for the upload one millisecond pin time let's go ahead and do another test this is going to be the test number six i just want to see if we can confirm the one millisecond time again and yeah i see it's two milliseconds but the download speed is still 740 megabit per second which is really good and do one more test this is going to be test number seven and we got one millisecond again for the pin time the download speed is great the upload speed is great all right so as a final recap i have put all the test results in one table so it will be a lot easier visually to see the results so let's quickly go through these results and look at this table so as you can see for one meter cable the best results i have got for the pin time was 1.21 millisecond which is pretty good the fastest download speed that i could get was 753.73 megabit per second and the fastest upload speed was 509 0.78 megabit per second so the results are pretty good i think and i also put the average results on the very bottom line as you can see the pin time is 1.5 millisecond that's going to be the average of seven test runs and the download speed is 736.95 megabit per second and the upload speed is 496.29 megabit per second so these are the results for the one meter ethernet cable connection then when I connect to the 30 meter ethernet cable, we're getting these results over here. As you can see from this table, the best pin time result that I got was in test number five, and it was 1.3 millisecond. The best download speed that I got was 752.23 megabit per second. And the best upload speed was 523.78 megabit per second. And if we're looking at the average results, we get in the 1.69 pin time, which is about 12.6% more average from the one meter cable results which as you can tell is not much and when we're looking at the average download and upload speed the download speed is 740.95 megabit per second and the upload speed is 499.61 megabit per second which actually gives us an increase for the download of 0.54 percent and for the upload 0.67 percent which is very minimal it's only a fraction of a percent so I don't think you will be able to notice this difference unless you're actually doing the test runs all day long and then you can see these results. But on a regular basis, when you're using internet every day, I don't think you will notice any difference between the one meter cable and the 30 meter cable. And what I find interesting is that the 30 meter cable is actually a little bit faster than the one meter cable in terms of download and upload speed, which is kind of funny because the, you think that the longer cable should be slower and the shorter cable will be faster. But in this case, we actually get in the longer cable faster and the shorter cable slower. My guess is probably because of the cable. Maybe this cable that I got, that's a category six cable, but it's a little bit newer than the one that they put in the box with this Asus router. This is just my guess because otherwise I don't see any reason why the 30 meter cable would be faster than the one meter cable. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any ideas why this happened. But as a pin time, the results are predictable. The 30 meter cable has slightly higher pin time, but not by much. So what can I say? You can use one meter cable or you can use 30 meter cable. It's really not going to make almost any difference. Maybe you're going to get some fractions of pin time and fractions of download upload speed, but this is going to be like less than 1%. This is going to be probably like one hundredth of a percent, which is not going to be noticeable at all. As you can see from my test, maybe if you're running a hundred meter cable, you're going to notice more differences. Or maybe if you're running a thousand meter cable, then you're going to notice more difference. But, but I cannot check this. And usually for that length, you're using fiber optic. 
which is not affected by lengths at all. And you can have like hundreds of kilometers of optics and it travels with the speed of light. So you can make it as long as you want pretty much. But yeah, there you have it guys as a conclusion. As you can see, the length of the cable for the home network doesn't really matter and it doesn't affect the speed or the latency. So you can use the cable as long as you want and you're still going to get a great speed. Just make sure you have a good router that can output 1 gigabit speed, then you're going to be okay. So yeah, this is it guys. I hope this video was helpful to you. I tried to make all these results so it will be easier for you to see. Let me know in the comment section below if it was helpful to you and you like it. Also, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. And let me know what upload and download speed you're getting from your internet service provider. That will be interesting to know and see how it compares to the speed that I'm getting. If you're new to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button. This will help me a lot to grow my channel and make more interesting, helpful videos for you. Also, if you like it, click the like button. I appreciate it very much. But this is it for now. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.